Hey Toolerinos, I've got an interesting old tool here. This was a gift from my Uncle Chaz and uh, he has had it in his possession for at least 20 years and uh, it has seen better days but it seems to be maybe a bit rare. I'm not sure uh, exactly of its age. I attempted to do a little bit of research and uh, I have not yet seen one just like it on eBay. Uh, I know that's like our go-to research area, right? It's Goodell Pratt Toolsmiths, Greenfield, Massachusetts, made in USA. And uh, you know the back end is, uh, I'm assuming it used to have the threaded portion here with the screw-on cap, like you see on the Miller's Falls ones. and. Uh, and other Goodell Pratt ones, but um, this one has a different ferrule here. The uh, the other Goodell Pratt ones have a straight ferrule that doesn't flare out at this at the end. You know, it's a little bit different in that way. I don't know if this makes this one older or newer. But the, uh, the font on this one is a little bit smaller than the ones with the straight ferrule. And uh, on the uh, Miller's Falls ones, the, the chuck is shorter, and I think it's a little bit larger in diameter, and there's no visible ferrule. The ferrule, I assume there's a ferrule underneath the chuck. It's hidden by the chuck, but I'm, I'm not sure because I don't have one to look at. This one has some really bad pitting here in this spot, uh, which is unfortunate, but um, we'll see if I can find a way to clean that up with the lathe, maybe, if I ever get the lathe finished and put it back into service. Um, it's pretty neat um, how the chuck works under here. It's got... Uh, these pieces kind of dovetailed into place and held with a snap ring, uh, a springy piece of metal, so the chuck uh, jaws, just two, um, grip, and you see there's a spring down in there. It still has all the, uh, uh, all the, the bits. Uh, they're not lost, which is kind of shocking. There's uh, a pretty good selection here. They're basically like wood chisels and, and a little saw. And this saw is different from the Miller's Falls ones. The Miller's Falls ones are just a flat blade all the way through. It's meant to be gripped between the, uh, the jaws. Whereas this one has a four-sided uh, sort of a shank to it, shaft, to be gripped in the in the chuck like like all the other bits. Previous owner um, had uh, put some small nails in here and then wound some copper wire around it to grip it and hold it together because it's tapered if it didn't have these small nails in it the the copper wire would just slide down to a smaller diameter and then it wouldn't be tight you know it wouldn't stay tight and keep it together so it's um, Kind of surprising how well it has held together after all these years, um, but uh, there it is in all its glory. The wood is beautiful looking even though it's all split up, it's uh, very impressive looking. And I don't know if this sort of repair has a specific name for it, but um, Scout Crafter demonstrated this uh, on a hammer if I remember correctly. And if I, if I can remember which video that was or find it, I'll put it in uh, a link to it in the comments, or in the description, sorry. We'll eventually fix it up, try to make it a little nicer looking, maybe a little more functional, and, uh, and it'll be cool. But if anyone has any information about um, what year this might be from, if they think this is an older one because of the flared ferrule, or if it's a newer one because of the flared ferrule, uh, I would just be curious to know. Uh, and also, on the other ones that are Goodell Pratt with the straight ferrule, 
the top of the chuck seems a little thicker. Um, this one just seems it's just a little bit di bit different, you know, than the other ones that I've that I'm seeing. So, all right. So I said my uncle has had this for uh, 20 years at least. And I know that because this is a letter that he had uh, received after inquiring about the history of this tool at the uh, Greenfield, Massachusetts, Franklin County Chamber of Commerce. And you can see it's post dated from 1999. So he's definitely had it at least that long. And this is a letter my uncle received in response from the Franklin County Chamber of Commerce with the history of Goodell Pratt. And uh, you can read it for yourself. Okay. Okay, Tularinos. So, uh, when Scout Crafter uh, showed us that picture of a Klein uh, speed screwdriver, I thought, wait a minute, I think I have one of those. And uh, I, I do, but it's, it's not a Klein, it's a uh, cheapo made in China. But uh, it does seem to work okay. Um, it does have the uh, concave tips, uh, sides on the tip. And it does say chrome vanadium on it, on the side here. So uh, it's probably not too bad of a screwdriver. And I have here from my first house that I gutted uh, to rebuild an old electrical fixture. And the thought that occurred to me uh, was that um, a lot of these ceiling fixtures, uh, electrical fixtures, have very long, fine threaded screws. And that, that may be what this is really intended to be used for. So I thought I'll do a comparison of uh, uh, running a screw out and in with, uh, with a regular screwdriver and then doing it with the, uh, the speed screwdriver and we'll see which one's faster. So let's we'll start with the regular screwdriver here and I'm, you know, I'm going to do it the way I would normally do it where I'm going to use my fingers on the, uh, on the shaft here to speed things up. That's out. That's tight. That seems pretty quick. So now we'll try the, uh, the speed screwdriver. Oh. Maybe need a little practice. I'll try that again. So start running it out. Okay, maybe need a little practice. <laughs> Alright, I'll try it again. Okay. So, using a speed screwdriver definitely takes a little skill. I'm going to try holding it closer to the tip and see if that helps. I still spun out before I got it in position. All right, maybe I'm trying to be too rough with it. Maybe if I hold it at the top and kind of just float and see. Here we go. Well, as soon as the screw starts to come very loose, it's easy to slip out. Now, maybe this uh, screwdriver bit is, you know, this tip is a little small for this size screw, but this is the application I thought for sure it might be best for. Well, it didn't quite get tight before it slipped out there. So I don't know, maybe it's just a lack of practice. Uh, it seems like it might speed things up if you had a whole bunch of these to do. If this was what you did all day every day and you used one of these all the time, it would probably be uh, a little easier to handle. I'm just not used to it. Um, so, I think for a proper electrician who does this sort of thing all the time and you're doing a whole house full of fixtures, having this screwdriver is probably a good idea. But for the average Joe Schmo like myself, who uh, 
who doesn't need to have one of these to to knock that five seconds or ten seconds off of every fixture install uh, I think I'll just stick with my regular screwdriver <laughs> alright let me know what you guys think in the comments okay